guys, thanks for stopping by and welcome to today's video. It's time for another episode of the series What About That Product? If you're following my channel, you know that those are my taste test product review series. I try foods for the first time and give you my honest opinion, rating and everything you need to know about that product. In today's episode, we're gonna try six cereals from America and Canada. You know, I love my cereal and I'm pretty excited about this episode. I'm gonna try the cereals in different days, so the clips you're gonna see are not from the same day. For star, one more time, I want to say a huge, huge thank you to Ron for sending me all of those cereals, cookies and everything you have seen on my channel. I know that it has been a while since I have uploaded a vlog video, a food fitting, especially a challenge. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of video you really want to see on the channel because from the views and from the comments and from the likes dislikes ratio I get that you don't necessarily like what I upload right now. If I'm wrong let me know in the comment section below and also tell me what kind of videos you want to see on my channel. So let's get started with the test test. First I'm gonna try Captain Crunch and to finish the video I'm gonna show you the cookies and cream so this will be later the question we all ask what about Captain Crunch this is the original Captain Crunch on the box it says it's crunchorific it's all about the crunch guys if it doesn't have a crunch it's not cereal let's go through the nutrition facts real fast so per 30 grams it has 120 calories 1.5 grams of fat but I think this comes from the milk 26 grams of carbs which of one fiber 12 sugar this is one of the highest uh, sugar content cereals and one gram of protein here's the cereal this is all you get for 350 gram box so it's not a lot it's about a taste now this is the cereal i don't know what kind of shape is this that captain crunch has doesn't smell like anything it smells like corn cereal and sugar Houston, we have a problem. Five second rule. Great success. Of course, we're gonna try dry first. So, cheers, guys. This reminds me of something that I've had when I was a child. It's so good, though. This cereal I can easily have just like snack. Just for snack. Maybe with milk is better. Mix it up. That's just guys. It tastes like a corn puff snack. It's crunchy, really good texture, flavor is good, but it has a bit too much sodium and a bit on the higher side of the sugars. Still one of the better cereals I have tried. I'm gonna give it 8 out of 10. So what about pumpkin spice Cheerios? I had only one other kind of Cheerios and it was the apple cinnamon, which I wasn't the biggest fan of, but it was still really, really good cereal. Though for this one I have really, really high expectations because this is Pumpkin spice. Well, I don't necessarily like pumpkin spice, but it's made with real pumpkin, and I really, really like pumpkin. You know how much I love my cereal, and I really hope this one is going to be one of my favorites. So, let's get to it. Here they are, guys. To be honest, I kind of expected this to be a bit more volume. I can't really describe the smell. I guess this is the pumpkin spice. I can smell the nutmeg. Here's how the Cheerios look like. Again, it smells like spices, but I don't really know what goes inside of a pumpkin spice. I know that there's um, cinnamon and nutmeg and stuff like that. So first I'm gonna try it dry. That's how I enjoy my cereal. It's pretty good, but for this cereal, I really think it's gonna be better with milk, so, with milk. This does not taste like pumpkin. It's not overly sweet, I can definitely taste the cinnamon and other spices, which I don't really know which exactly are. I don't know how I feel about those flavors. Don't get me wrong, it's delicious, but is it better than other cereals that I've had? The more you eat from it, the better it gets, so... Mm, the flavor is not necessarily my favorite one, I do like it, so I'm gonna give it 8.5, pretty pretty good cereal, definitely my favorite pumpkin one, though it's the first one I've had so far. 8.5 pumpkin spice Cheerios. What about Kashigolin Crunch cereal? We need to try a few healthier. Cereals. And this one is 
one of the healthiest you can get. It's Kashi Golin, though the original one is healthier, but I've heard it tastes like cardboard. For this one though, I heard really good reviews. I mean, it really can't get any healthier than that. It has 8 grams of fiber per serving. Yeah, per serving, 52 grams, 8 grams of fiber. 16 grams of, no, I was going to say protein, but this is 16 grams whole grains. 9 grams of protein, but I think this includes the milk, it does. So that's the box, um, pretty, pretty uh, grown up looking like, it's not something exciting. Calories per serving, one serving is 52 grams and it has 3 grams of fat, 37 grams of carbs, 8 fiber, 12 sugar, so <laughs> this is basically like Captain Crunch or any sugary cereal, so it has a lot of sugar. 9 grams of protein, the box is not really big and it's 390 grams which means that this is a lower volume cereal and heavier cereal. Let's check it out. I mean, is, the, is there a second back inside? Nope. <sighs> That's not cool, Kashi. Not, not cool, not cool. You get this huge bag here, it is, and I'm gonna have me a serving has like a cinnamon flavor, uh, flavor, uh, smell. There's like clusters of goodness, I hope. It has a lot of sugar, so it can be bad. And I'm gonna have it first dry as usual. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try one of the clusters. Oh, oh, <laughs> doesn't taste healthy. The cinnamon, it's not overpowering. Which is good. And the clusters, really crunchy. Just like Rice Krispies and oats and sugar. Gonna add some milk, cause other people, except me, enjoy having cereal with milk. You weird people, a wet taste test. I mean, it's better. The milk brings in another flavor makes it more creamy yeah it's really good do not change much the flavor of the milk it tastes like broken up like into pieces granola bar I appreciate the 8 grams of fiber almost 9 grams of protein because you need milk the flavor is really good you get the cinnamon but not overpowering which I like I'm not the biggest cinnamon fan as you might know I'm gonna give the cereal I really like it I understand because it reminds me of granola. It's marketed as cereal, but it's more like granola, so yeah, 9 out of 10. What about Coco Spice Kashi? Another cereal, another review. This is the first time I'm trying a cereal of that kind, never had anything like that before. Today I'm trying Coco Spice Kashi cereal, and this is like um, harvest uh, cereal. I don't know how they call them. It, it looks like I've seen in taste test videos like frosted mini wheats and this looks like a wheat cereal it is it is it is indeed it's all natural ingredients but still the second ingredient is organic it's organic so it has to be good organic cane syrup which makes this not any better than any uh, kid cereal it has uh, six grams of fiber per 55 gram serving nine grams of sugar 5 grams of protein and this time it's without the milk I think or with the milk I don't know and yeah 1 gram of fat or less apparently it's a new cereal looks like the perfect snack to me like having it like a snack not cereal doesn't smell necessarily cocoa doesn't smell like anything really I mean it smells like wheat but not cocoa Close up of the cereal, as usual, I'm gonna try it first dry. Well, that's good. Um, I mean, it does taste healthy, but you do get a lot, a lot of cocoa spice here. It almost has, like, a chocolatey flavor, not cocoa, chocolatey flavor. Almost feels like there is, like, a chocolate filling inside of each of those harvests. By the way, I just woke up, so... That's why I look like that. Milk. Let's get it soggy. Just the way I like my cereal. I'm joking, by the way. All I taste is milk. Seriously? Milk. 
That's the flavor I get, nothing else. And this cereal, I feel like, will get soggy really, really fast. Really, really fast. I mean, I do get a slight cocoa flavor, but definitely get soggy fast. No, no flavor. Eh, actually guys, I just realized why is it cocoa spice and on the picture there's a cinnamon stick sticks makes sense huh? I think this will be the lowest rating I'm giving to a cereal from the ones I'm trying right now as a snack 7.5 it's a pretty heavy cereal not that volume if you're watching my youtube uh, channel my videos and you want to have something while doing that it's 7.5 but as a cereal I'm gonna give it I'm sorry guys but I'm gonna give it 6.5. What about Trick Cereal or Fruity Swirl Despicable Me 3 Cereal Edition? I think you can find it only in Canada. It's made from General Mills. What caught my attention is that it says Illumination Presents Despicable Me 3 Fruity Swirl Cereal. Banana, 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 potato. Anyways, I looked up some reviews on Instagram and people say that. This cereal is basically trick cereal, but with different colors. And as you know, or maybe you don't know, in Canada they don't uh, make cereals anymore with artificial colors, so it's everything with natural colors, you know, like from beets and from um, um, what, what other vegetable makes colors. Grass. Per one cup, 33 grams, you get 130 calories. 2 grams of fat, 28 grams of carbs and uh, 1 fiber, 9 sugar, 2 grams of protein. Sugars are actually pretty pretty low compared to other cereals. Hashi has 9 grams of sugars per serving. Looks good, looks good. Here's a cereal. I really like the colors of those balls. I love me some colored balls. Who doesn't? Quick look at the cereal and let's have a serving. This is enough, for now. Let's get this back, for now. As usual, we're gonna try the cereal dry, as you're supposed to eat it, because cereal is better dry. Spoonful with all colors and... Nice, nice, nice. Mm, mm, mm. I love me my fruity cereal, and this actually is my second ever fruity cereal. Okay, third. Because Fruit Loops in Europe and Fruit Loops in America, Canada, it's totally different thing. Trust me guys, yours is better, but ours is probably healthier. I love me fruity cereal, guys. And this one actually has a hint of vanilla. Or I'm just imagining it. Delicious. That's easily, easily in my top three cereals. And for the milk test, let's mix it and try it. It's good. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's all. It's really good. Definitely has a hint of vanilla. So guys, for this fruity swirl cereal, Illuminati presents Despicable Me 3. I'm gonna give 9.5 because I'm giving me a bit room. And I said Fruit Loops Butter Cake is number one for me, so I can't give it 10 out of 10, but it's up there. What about cookies and cream cereal? Or should I say Oreo O's, the Canadian version? Guys, I had some issues. I already tried this cereal on camera, but my phone decided to um, restart and it didn't save the video. I already tried it, I know it's really good, it's one of the best cereals I've had. Only because of you, I'm gonna try just a little bit more of the cereal on camera. As I said, it's Oreo O's, but just the Canadian version. So in the footage that I lost, I said that the cereal is really good, still doing the same. It's delicious guys, but it's a cereal that you gotta have your milk. It's Oreo O's or cookies and cream cereal. You gotta have your milk with Oreos. Amazing guys. So so good. So Post Cereal, the makers of cookies and cream cereal, Malto Meal is owned by Post Cereal. And they made two years ago, I think, a bag version of uh, cookies and cream cereal. People loved it. So they decided to make Oreo O's once again, which you could only get through eBay from Korea. Post Cooks and Cream. 
just without the big Oreo logo. Calories are 120 per 31 grams. This is a really high volume cereal, which I really like. Only 311 grams and it's double the size of the Captain Crunch. I tried 26 carbs, 12 grams of sugar. It's on the higher side of the sugary cereals, but it's cooking cream. It can be lower sugar if you want to taste the cream. It has two grams of protein and one gram of fiber. Guys, this is in my top three cereals ever, which go like that. Number one, birthday cake, Fruit Loops. I love this shit, this is my number one, and I still have a full box, which I am gonna enjoy. Number two, Fruity Swirl cereal, or should I say, Trick cereal, the Canadian version. On number three, we have two cereals. You know the first one, and the second one, Chocolate Lucky Charm. This is my top three cereals. For the cookies and cream, I'm gonna give 9 out of 10. I think it's well deserved. So, okay guys, thanks for stopping by once again. Let me know about what kind of videos you want to see on the channel in the comment section below, as I said in the beginning of the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give a like because of me and because of Ron, because if it wasn't Ron, I wouldn't be able to try those cereals. Thank you for sticking by till the end of the video. If you're still here, let me know by commenting down below my three top cereals or four cereals. If you have watched, you know what I mean. See you in my next one.